Hello and welcome to uh, what is hopefully our inaugural episode for this channel. Uh, I am Luchu. And I am Frosty. And we are playing Duck Game, which is uh, kind of an old game, but kind of a fun game. So yeah, this is going to be the first attempt at playing with, <laughs> playing games with each other. Yeah. Let's do Super Saiyan. I don't know how to do Super Saiyan. Yeah, so uh, we just woke up today. Uh, we choose violence and uh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so Frosty's the Super Saiyan duck and the burger duck. Um, so yeah, we decided to choose violence, but also to yeah. start a YouTube channel. And yeah. yeah. So Frosty and I have been... Oh god, <laughs> that scared me. Uh, Frosty and I have been friends what, for what, a what, bit. <laughs> Oh, what? How did that get that reach? Nice. Uh, yeah, we've been friends since uh, oh. freshman year of college. We've yeah. Been dorm mates. Yeah. Dorm mates. Uh, yeah. It's a long time ago. Uh, oh, what the heck? I'm like stuck. What are you doing? Oh, I was reloading. Oh. The musket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> we have a pretty fun origin story that keeps getting messed up, but. Uh, <laughs> All right, you tell it. You but, tell yeah, it. You okay. Tell it. So, what is this? That's like a sound gun. Um, so oh, yeah, the way, okay. The way Frosty and I met during our- Oh god, I'm gonna die anyways. <laughs> so the way Frosty and I met <laughs> in college yeah. is that we were dorm mates, not roommates, so we weren't like specifically sort of like looking to be each other's friend, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but we ended up, uh, you know- You don't have to say it like that. Well, you know, that's just how it was, right? Like, I don't know. In college, you kind of- Try to keep yourself open-minded. Oh god. Okay. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> so we went to the way I remember it. And oh. I don't know. You can you can correct me if I. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> um, we that went to reach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we went to the cafeteria and we were eating dinner together, I believe. Oh, what the heck? Um, and I would be there. Yeah, you were there. You were there as part of this whole group that we went to the cafeteria with, and um, we went to go pick up our mail, which was on the way back to our dorms. And Frosty got a shirt in the mail, which was uh, really cool because he wanted to show it off. So he showed a it very off. Very cute, innocuous shirt. Yes, cute, innocuous. Nobody knew probably what the hell it was, except for me. <laughs> And so describe the shirt. Um, Bro. <laughs> it, was a, it was a black it was a black shirt with a white hen that was wearing a tie. And for those of you who already know what I'm talking about, shame on you, you degenerate <laughs> perverts. Uh, <laughs> Cuz that was a shirt by uh, the one and only uh, if, if you're under 18, don't look up the site. <laughs> it, was a, it, was a, it was a Faku shirt. Um, and <laughs> Oh, I'm not on fire so much. How did you win that one? I had the fire. <laughs> it, Faku was a very famous uh, chicken tie spite. Yes, company. <laughs> company. Anyways, uh, so nobody knew what the shirt was, but they were complimenting on him on this shirt. And I just gave him the dirtiest side eye I could possibly give someone. Like, when you know someone knows, and then they give you, oh, like, God. the little smile, and you're like, no, he's about to out me in front of everyone. No! Yeah, so that was one of those things where I I pull. Oh wow, I did not expect to be winning by that. <laughs> um, so I pulled him aside a little bit. I was like, "Is that shirt where I think it's from?" And he immediately started sweating a little. Yo, <laughs> there's no way that I could say anything different. It's the actual website name where I got it from. Yeah, so I was like, so luckily for him. Me telling him that kind of also gave him the, the idea that I also knew where it came from. Uh, and How would you not know? Okay. Uh, that's my point. Okay. That's my point. So. It's like, you degenerate. But then I just look at myself in the mirror too and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I mean, it's it basically well, the, the kettle pot. black, right? Right. Pot, meat, yeah. kettle at that point. And so. Oh, Jesus. We were. Uh, that only <laughs> one shot? My God. So we were uh, very just. Yeah, we became really good friends after that. <laughs> we were yeah. both degenerates, but yeah, that's our origin story and how we become really good friends. I basically blackmailed him into being my friend. You know, what, I was what, like, okay. what other be like, better way to become a friend than to blackmail somebody? You know, kids, if, you, if you're lonely and you need friends, just just blackmail somebody. It's, it's 
like the easiest way. Is, is that what we did? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot me. Be my friend. Ha! Oh, it's only one shot though. <laughs> Shit, why does your armor stay too, on dude. mine does? <laughs> oh, it just takes a while to reload. Um, but yeah. Yeah. That's our origin story. <laughs> but honestly... <laughs> All great heroes have a great origin like, story. overall, you know... I, I'm losing you. Can, friend. you. can you talk into the mic a little bit? Oh. What's my face? Hello? Oh god. <laughs> I'm dead from that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's our that's our origin story. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so we're playing duck game. Because we've been friends ever since, and we can't get rid of this guy for some reason. Even though I'm blackmailing him. Um... Yeah, for real. I was just like, oh, I could make other friends, but yeah. <laughs> but I don't have no, any good I dirt want, on I the other I want this guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any good dirt on the other friends, so, anyways. <laughs> Anyone uh, else know? Yeah. So, how are you doing today, bro? Don't worry, I would share my browser history. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see your browser history. That's like the last thing I'd want to see. I would be the bro to I, delete your browser history. I, if you, if don't worry, we just care. Here. Most degenerate shit together. <laughs> well, that, that's my point. Like, I would be the bro that would delete your browser history. Because I know yeah. that no, that shit that. Is, needs to be sanitized. Your FBI agent's probably like, man, this guy. Can I duck? Okay, go ahead. Uh, it's like scared of those. <laughs> oh, I can still die on your stupid <laughs> pixel things. Um. Yeah, so how are you, man? How are you? Do How's life? How's life going? Doing good. Um, well, recovering from a small hangover, but you know, it um, is what it is. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, to our inexperienced audience, water. Always drink water. Stay hydrated. After Hydro homies. Hydro homies. Yep. Be that guy that brings a water bottle to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like thinking ahead, right? I mean, you could ask for water, but, you know, social anxiety is also a thing. Nice shot. What do you mean social anxiety? <laughs> for asking water? It's like, please, sir, I'd like some water. Sorry, you know, British. Just Sorry, any British. One of those. <laughs> any British. Any British. That was not good. That was pretty good. Can right. I get some? Uh... Oh, that was terrible. All right, don't. Wait, 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 wait. Can I get out of this? Okay. Thank you. Oh. No. Oh, this is what we do, and then we just try to. Oh my God! Can't wait for me. Can't wait for me. Dude. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, There's so no that's Ooh. <gasps> There's still a chance. You still got a chance. Oh, oh no! you won! What, what? the hell? Oh, what a comeback. Shock. What a comeback. Why is it raining all of a sudden? I don't understand. Because <laughs> it's very sad. <laughs> it's sad that you won. Any other time, but it's like, oh, Frosty won. <laughs> do you wanna make this do you wanna make this a best two out of three? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Sweet, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, blame, I blame the burger hat. Uh. I admit, I went Ultra Instinct Goku. Oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of uh, burgers, I'm kind of hungry, but what is the best... What is the best burger you've ever had? Okay, so... Thing is... Everyone talks about In N Out, but I say that's blasphemy. It's actually not that good. Oh, Raiders Out. What? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll let you continue. No. But, but I'm not saying. Best? Well, I don't care if it's okay, 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 blasphemy, okay. but. Burger, like, best burger we've ever had, or just, like, easy access burger, like a solid burger? Uh, it has to be oh. a burger that you like. I don't care if you like In N Out or not. I just wanted to know what's the best burger you ever had, and now you're just like, well, in and out, it's good, but it no, sucks, but it's no, good, no, no, no. It's but it kind of sucks. A lot of people would say in and out's like the best. I don't know. It's just like. <laughs> just, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. right. Enough, enough with the the in and out slander. I don't. I mean, I'm not that committed to like protecting in and out. I was like, I was about to say, I was like, all right, you sound like you're paid, right? You know. Yeah, okay, <laughs> chill. Okay, chill. <laughs> No, no, I just wanted to know what's the best burger you've had, and suddenly okay, you're okay, trashing okay, yeah. it burger? Out. Okay, so there was at this little restaurant 
uh, in uh, called Al Cheval in Chicago. It was okay. like this gourmet uh, burger place that okay. uh, yeah. I had a friend who lived down in Chicago, and he's just like, "Yo, come through. I'll show you around to the best places mm -hmm. and the best foods." And this was like. To a burger place where you had to get a reservation, right? Oh, just to get so it's fancy. Pizza. Yeah. Wait, was it actually like it, fancy or is it just like really popular? It, it was literally just a double cheeseburger uh, and uh, bacon, but they just made it to perfection that it just <laughs> tasted so goddamn good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, continue, yes. Uh, it was really good. It was a double cheeseburger. What did it have on it? Double cheeseburger and bacon, that's really it. Okay. It was like the most basic of basic, but just everything was cooked to perfection. I, see. I don't have... know how I could match that. Did it have like, like veg or anything crazy like that? I don't even know if it had Honestly, I'd have to look up a photo of this. They got him a foodie. <laughs> okay. I remember it was like it's delicious, okay? Do I remember every ingredient? No. <laughs> well, I mean, I just wanted to know if there was stuff on it, you know? That's all. Uh, oh yeah, no. It was actually very, very basic. That's why I was really impressed with it. Sometimes simplicity is best, though. I think I was wearing the armor. Um, like they didn't want to like mess it up because like simple is harder to do, right? Yeah. God, dude, <laughs> did you get like another I armor on? I did. <laughs> um. So for me personally, I still like in and burgers as was probably my personal favorite, but kind of the craziest like. Burger, I guess if we were talking about like uh, a big, not a big, but like just a fancy burger, right? Like you're talking about like sit down and what? <laughs> sit down restaurant. Uh, you probably I really you, only just one. I guess you were just selling your burger yeah. story. Anyways, um, yeah, yeah. what was I gonna say? Basically, the one I had had like a bunch of crazy shit on it. It was like some chipotle aioli. I just killed myself. Uh, like <laughs> bacon, just you know the works and stuff like that. It had like bone marrow on the side. It was insane. What? But it was a really oh good burger. God. That yeah. sounds delicious. Yeah. Bone it was marrow as a side? It was like a freaking thirty dollar burger though. Like it wasn't like one of them, like a fast food. Well, yeah, it was a restaurant burger. So it was crazy. Yes. <laughs> what was the name of the restaurant? Uh. I think it was called like Tempo Urban Kitchen or something. Yeah, it's it's like a fancy-ish kind of. Uh, well, it's like fancy, but it's more like bar food, like really fancy bar food. And it mostly does like Mexican uh, fusion type stuff. So like, yeah. Oh, do you remember the those uh, burrito tacos I showed? Oh, I just killed myself. Uh, that's where that Burrito was. Burrito tacos? Burrito tacos? Oh, birria tacos. Oh, yeah. Tacos. Sorry, oh. I, said, I call them birria. I call I call I call gyros. <laughs> I call gyros like gyros at some point. People wanted to kill oh. me. Dude, I kept calling. I called them gyros around like some <laughs> That's worse than mine. legit Greek people. Oh, like let's get some gyros. Get and some... they looked at me like I had like poop in the cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Gyros. Hey, I'm sorry. Gyros. Oh it's, god. It's a... Yeah, that would that would have like, even me, and I I pronounce those gyros. I mean, like it's not like a word that you use all the time. I mean, <laughs> sure, I guess. Uh, so you mentioned oh. Chicago, right? What is like? Yeah. And you, oh, oh. oh, dang it. Um, what is the best? Destination, I guess. I wouldn't say city, but like best uh, destination or for like for like food. Because you mentioned you're kind of a foodie. What is it? Oh, it's like mm. a fire extinguisher. Um, uh, so like, what is the best there... place you think for like where you've been? I just killed myself. Get up there. All right. So not gonna lie, the Chicago deep dish pizza is really good. It. There was, um, like, two really popular deep dish pizza places. Um, one of them was Giorgiano, Giorgiano's, I think it's Uh, maybe? And the other one was called... Oh, my God. But Uno's? My friends are playing me for forgetting. It was Uno's and something, right? Uno's and... Isn't it, like... 
Popper Della's. No, that's the sandwich place, I think, right? <laughs> you like looking true. it up? Well, you I'm, I'm okay, okay, you caught me. I am looking it up. <laughs> All right, hurry up then. Jeez. Anyways, I okay. I was talking about more like what is the best food destination, as in like what what place have you been to? Like other than I mean, it could be Chicago, but I'm saying like L.A., New York. Japan, oh, Korea, oh. Uh, just, you know. Right. Well, I wish I UK. wish I had gone to one of those like Asian countries, but I have not been to an Asian country yet. I would really love to go there next. But the best place for food for me that I've been to so far, honestly, New York had such like oh, okay. a bevy of yeah. good food. I'm not gonna lie, it, it was really good. Oh, this one's for all the marbles. Sorry, keep going. Yes, New York. Um, yeah. I'm one of those people who loves a good uh, New York flavor. I am like, like, give me the... Oh, what? Oh, all the carbs. Bagels are delicious. Like, mm, the bagels. there was yeah. this deli place as well um, that had really good pastrami. Okay. Uh... It, okay, I'm more of a landmark guy. I, I, I'm not. I don't remember names easily. It was like Kelly's or something. It's probably completely. Okay. But there was an amazing deli place. I think I got oh. an omakase there. That was delicious. Wait, a deli and... with an omakase? No, 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 no. There was another place that with an omakase. <laughs> we just tried so many good food places at. Uh, New York. Did I literally just slip on a banana to die? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't actually paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, when, I, when we were at New York last time, we went to a uh, Harry Potter themed bar called the Cauldron. Oh, and It was actually kind of kind of awesome because mm -hmm. we got uh, we got to like stew our drinks like a potion. We had Stew? like a. I mean, brew. <laughs> brew it. You, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you got me. Oh my God! That's yes. Are you serious? <laughs> hey, I'm not the one who stews his potions, man. <laughs> um, what was the what was the craziest thing you had over there? Like anything good? I know butter beer is kind of a thing in the Universal Studio, but is there like an actual drink that's? So I think butter beer. Uh, oh, I just killed myself in the stupidest fashion. It, I think <laughs> they had like uh, wizard themed drinks, but they're like one was like blood dragon's blood or something, but it was just like hibiscus or something like that. Sure. So I'm uh, pretty sure they ran out of uh, <laughs> dragon's blood that morning. I mean, of course, but like it's, it's just like a theme. It was kind of weird. I remember because our waitress, bartender, because you have to like reserve these spots as well. Uh huh. She, we had to call her Lady Mistress. She like demanded oh, that we call her Lady Mistress, and Did I was you... like, I was like, you must commend me as Lady Mistress, or she wouldn't talk to us. And I was like, this is weird. That is very strange. You're really into no whatever, dude. How do you? Oh my god, are you serious? I'm smacking buttons left and right. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a dominatrix type of thing instead of a like an SM S and M bar. <laughs> Lady mistress, yeah. I want to be served. Really mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, <laughs> mommy. Uh, <laughs> Um, nice. Anyways. What? <laughs> um, my favorite place to get food <laughs> is, uh, it's probably yeah, Japan. Japan. No, first, that's like the food destination. What was the best thing you've had in Japan? Oh, um, surprisingly? You have, uh... Okay, surprisingly, yeah, I do have something. It's not the conventional answer, which is I think is kind of interesting. One of the best things I had um, was uh, omelet rice, actually. Oh, omelet rice? Yeah. Ooh. Omelet rice, uh, but it was like a, it had like it was like a curry omelet rice, and it wasn't like a made cafe sort of thing because that's kind of weird. Say, did they like sign? <laughs> no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't a made cafe thing. 
So this was like kind of near the near the end of a trip. Uh, I was going with family, um, but it was one of those days where we just finished like a long day of like you know doing touristy oh. stuff, and we popped into this like random restaurant that had like omelet rice as part of its like you know uh, menu, and it had like curry on it. So I was like, all right, I'll try that, and it was literally like one of the best things I've ever eaten. It was like super fluffy. The curry was just like really well done. And I've, I've eaten like a bunch of stuff at that point. Uh, like like soba, ramen, sushi. Like even the Kamara sushi is really good there. Um, but surprisingly that, that omelet rice with curry was like the thing that stuck out in my mind. It was just so crazy that like that was the thing that really impressed me was <laughs> that particular. Oh, it wasn't just like it wasn't just like normal rice though. Right? It's like fried uh, rice. Or... Kind of. Um, it was like it was like really well prepared rice. I don't know if it had like if it was like special sushi rice or something like that. But yeah, that was the thing that stuck out in my mind was that omelet rice. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it was in Osaka though. It wasn't even in Tokyo. It was in Osaka, um, which is I guess considered like the. Was it like the kitchen of Tokyo, right? Like the food destination places in Osaka. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. In a way. So yeah, that's where I went, and I won this best two out of three. <laughs> Dude, I was I was focusing on the conversation. All right? I was <laughs> sure, like... sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, uh, if you want your revenge? Maybe on the next episode, and we can uh, figure out. We'll get that revenge. We'll figure yeah, out who's we'll... actually better or not when we don't focus on a conversation. Yeah. Every single time before this was just warm up. Every single time. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thanks for uh, stopping by. And if you've gotten this far, uh, yeah, please comment and uh, you know let us know what we could do better and everything that we'd love to hear back from you guys. But otherwise, I hope you all have a, a wonderful day and tune in for the next episode. Bye -bye. Thanks for joining us. Till next time. Till next time. Bye bye.